Can I create a better tactic in one minute than I can in ten minutes? That's the challenge that I'm going to attempt today with Leeds United. So here on day one as Leeds United manager, we'll go straight to create a tactic and we'll do a complete clean slate. I'll just randomly collect a 4-4-2 there just because it's easy to base. So I will set my timer ready in the corner here. We have exactly one minute to create a tactic as good as we can possibly do with Leeds. And then I'll go and do a little bit more of a detailed one with 10 minutes. So I'm a bit excited. So are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Right, okay, so what I'm thinking is that we do uh, a kind of... Maybe we, we go one up top, and we'll go... Because they got Sinistera, who's very good. Uh, but I'm thinking, actually, what I'm going to think... This is Leeds. I need to remember, this is Leeds. Uh, I actually like the, the idea of a DLF. Because I don't think Leeds have the best striker. My biggest problem is going to be how slow the game is. We've got 30 seconds gone already. Okay, so now I'm thinking we'll go half back. I might just have to leave everything else. Uh, we'll go DLP center mid there. And I'll go box to box with fielder. We'll keep it very simple. I'm going to stay on balance. Uh, I'm going to focus the play down left. We'll go short passing, but slightly higher tempo. Uh, we'll work the ball into the box. Eight seconds to go. Come on, please. Uh, we're just going to have to go gig and press. Four. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. One. I didn't do it. And right. I didn't get to select any of this. That was quicker than what I thought it would be. I guess the game really screwed me over because it was so slow. What I would like to have done, of course, is up the trigger press to a little bit more than standard. We'd get stuck in would have been ideal. That would have been a good basis. I didn't even get to touch the, the, the center backs or anything like that. At least my front line is kind of set. Didn't do any instructions, though. Okay, we'll just simulate the full season. I'll go on my profile, go on holiday. The only thing I'm going to select is the tactic. Not going to do any players for both sides of it. Uh, we'll go forward into June there, end of the season. There we go. Okay, so results are in. 12th place. I'll actually take it. Um, I, Considering we built this in a minute, get 49 points from a team which I think is predicted to finish in 17th. Well, 15th there. I will take it. Higher than what the predicted finish is. You gotta take that. 12 wins in total and we beat some big... We beat Man United 3-0. We beat Tottenham twice. Arsenal at home. We had some great results. We drew 13 and lost 13. I'm actually buzzing with that. Maybe a cup win. Imagine that. Built a tactic in one minute. No. Uh, third round by Middlesbrough and Bournemouth. So two bad results in the cup. Just some really good results in the league. Goals. What? We didn't even have one person in double figures for this season in goals. I understand it because obviously we played a DLF. So we didn't exactly really look to pump the ball in the box did we using a dlf on support i didn't even like get to change anything even it, all his instructions and stuff were exactly the same as what they were to begin with we didn't have any opportunities to change it okay and just to show you here we have the 433 dm wide 100 percent of the time we used 48 games is what we played this with yeah i mean we come up against quite a lot of the very similar tactics um i'm really happy with that I'm going to be really annoyed now if I do worse than that when I t spend 10 minutes building a tactic. Okay, we're back to day one with Leeds and we have 10 minutes on the clock. We will create our own style once again, starting off with that 4-4-2. Let's have some fun. Okay, let's fire up the timer. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, I'm also going to do a different shape. I feel like the 4-3-3 is great, but for Leeds, maybe not. They do have great wingers. I actually think the 4-4-2 is very similar to what I want to look at because we've got the likes of Sinistera. Now that I've got a little bit of time, I can play around with this. Jack Harrison on the left-hand side, he's mainly right-footed. No, he's not. He's left-footed. Okay, cool. So I've got two wingers that I can use. That's fantastic. So what I actually want to do is play with deeper midfielders because uh, I don't think the centre midfielders are the best roles. We've got Tyler Adams and Mark Rocker who can kind of play more as a ball winner on support, Tyler Adams, and a DLP on support on the other side. Okay, I think this is the kind of shape that I want to go for um, with an offset type of forward. Patrick Bamford probably playing majority of games up front. 
His main strength, really, is his work rate, isn't it? Like, he's got fantastic work rate. Is he better as, like, a pressing forward, then? I know his aggression isn't the best, but, like, work rate, stamina, stuff like that is going to be really good that for, for that type of role, right? And obviously, I'm not going to be securing him in the position. I'm just, like, in my head, I'm, I'm thinking about what's going to be really good for this. And um, Rodrigo, in that shadow striker role, I think is probably going to be best suited for this because he's not exactly the best finisher. But I think just having those two on attack is going to be the best option for us. We've got inverted wing backs because we've got two wingers. So let's actually go positive on the mentality. In possession, we'll do underlaps and we'll play out of defense. We're going to go very similar to what we had before. One down, one up. Uh, but we're going to play fairly wide. We'll be using the 4-4-2. And then I want to do low crosses and working the ball into the box. That's what I always think works best. Run out the defense. We've got two wingers who can do that. And in transition, look, we'll go with a Gagan press again. It's obviously just, it's, it's probably the best. Do I want to roll anything out? Let's roll it out. I don't really, do I play with mid block? Mid block high line. So I want to do much more press, prevent the short. No, I don't want to prevent the short goal kick because else it will push my players too further up. I want to get stuck in though. And I think that's all I want to do on this page. All right, so we've got six minutes left. I kind of want to have a look at each player role and go a bit more into that, really, because for pressing forward, it's not really. But like these two guys down here, you can have a lot of options and wingers as well. You can customize it to pretty much do a completely different role. And it's kind of exciting when you see that work out. I might have a look at possibly the wingers and do something with these guys, get further forward, uh, shoot less. That's probably quite good. I kind of like them to mark tighter on the wings. I think I want to do that on, on either side too. For Sinistera, I want to do exactly the same. I want to push, push further forward. I want you to get further forward, uh, but mark tighter at the same time when you are coming back. Inverted wing back. These guys have quite a lot of set options because obviously they're going to be set in narrower, but let's get them further forward and let's shoot less often. I don't want to mark too tight because then I'm stopping them. I don't know how to, to, to describe it. I'm preventing them in some ways of, of like push them too further forward which leaves gaps when it's the wingers i don't mind too much because there's people covering them that's what i kind of wanted to to to, to say with these two in the middle not really a lot that i want to do i want them to dribble less we don't have like really good center backs on the board so i think it's better if i tell them to dribble less and obviously shoot less of them not that they're going to and shallow striker if it is rodrigo uh let's let him roam a little bit and shoot less often. He's not the best at finishing, is he? Bless him. I think that's kind of what I want to do. I'm going to have a look around it while there's time. Because I've got four minutes left. So I'm going to have a, have a look myself and see how we do. Okay, I've also gone and changed the corner tactic. It's near post corners. You know they work. We all know that's what happens. You set somebody up for the near post. You have them come short. You have somebody else in my can go keep down. One of these two, the, the big guys tend to head the ball quite often. I'd be silly not to add it when I'm trying to beat 12th finish in the league. However, I am less confident now after seeing that finish than what I was to the point where I have two and a half minutes left. And I'm almost thinking about scrapping this formation and trying something different. I might even consider moving this as an attacking midfielder on support centrally. And have these two as attacking. I think that's my point. Sinistera's left footed, right? No, he's right footed. Why do I think these players are kicking with their different feet? Let's just keep let's just keep this, but we'll go attacking. The tight marking, which means they should come back anyway. We'll go attacking. We need to score some goals. Part of the aim is to score more than the ten than the nine than Patrick Bamford got last time. Right, well, we have one minute forty left uh, of this ten. So I thought I'd suggest if you haven't done so already, subscribe. And my dad set me a target of 100,000 subscribers. I'd like to hit that by the end of the year, if possible, and get a nice plaque. It's an almost impossible task. It's, it's still doable, but we need up those numbers. So if you can help us, that would be great. And I'm just going to sit here now because I think I'm done. Okay, we're going into the last 10 seconds then. I'm just going to start the holiday nice and early. I did think in the last minute, do I need to make any changes? And I kind of like mess around in my head again i'm not going to use the, the team selection uh we're just using this arrowhead style tactic and we'll go forward to june fingers crossed it's better than 12th season is over 
Ah, uh, we finished in 14. I can't believe we did worse than the one minute tactic. Although seeing Tottenham in 12 is quite funny. How did we do this? Now, when I left it, I went downstairs and I seen around about October, we were doing well. So I want to look at past positions because I feel like this is tailed off. I mean, ugh, October. Yeah, we were 10th. We were, when I seen it, we were 10th. So around about here, we were doing okay. It's just dropped off massively. Well, not massively. This 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 game here into uh, the 26th. So in February, we couldn't recover from that. I can't believe a one-minute tactic was better than a 10-minute one. I overthought it, really. I went too difficult. Instead of just keeping it still fairly simple, but just tweaking it a little bit. Oh my god, Liverpool had one loss and two draws? That's insane. What would be good though is if we won a cup. Nope, third round both times again. So it is literally terribly worse by two, two positions. Because we went out of the cups in the exact same position. Now, Rodrigo scoring 16 was better than what we had previously. Although, obviously, Patrick Bamford, I kind of was hoping would have been starting majority of the games. He didn't, by the looks of it. Only seven starts, 19 appearances from the bench. Uh, and he only got three goals there. Whereas Rodrigo looks like he started the majority of them. Uh, and he scored 16. So, I guess up front it was better. But uh, I think this was too complicated. I got a feeling that this tactic was just way too overcomplicated. We might as well remove it because we didn't use it. It didn't flow right in regards to the, the the player roles. Maybe I thought too much about what Leeds had and not what the match engine likes. That's it. When you got 10 minutes instead. That usually, that's how long I take to make a tactic. Uh, but the pressure of doing it with a timer and a lot of the times I will load up my old tactics which have been quite good on other rebuilds and then tweak it to the team I'm at. As a lot of people always say, oh, um, you, you, you end up doing really well on the tactics and stuff. That's kind of what I do. I find something that works and then I'll load it up on another rebuild uh, and then I'll tweak it to suit the team I'm at. Because obviously those instructions, they, they a lot of the time they work. I thought this would be okay, but I, I'm guessing, yeah, it, did, it didn't play out exactly how I'd hope it would. All right, well, that's a nice experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, this little uh, challenge thing that we've done here. If you want to see more of these, maybe you want to see me go up against other people and challenge them. What can you do for me in one minute compared to 10 minutes? And we'll showcase some stuff like that on the channel. If there's people you want to see on the channel, then let me know. And of course, make sure you are a subscriber on route to 100,000 subscribers. And I really would appreciate it. I say we're on route. We've only gone like 60,000, so we're 60% we're of the way there. But it's a target that we've got till the end of the year. And of course, you can watch this video up on the screen right now while we look, take a look at the retro database with real life new gens. That's correct. Wayne Rooney in five years time will regenerate in your game. It's amazing. Take a look from the 98-99 season.